Oh, look, people. Puddles are forming. Oh, how cute. Well, you all know where that is. This particular picture I'll show you was taken or put up put up on the 7th of April where it was taken and obviously put up on the 7th of the 4th okay let's go have a look at another one let's look at a Tonka toy okay this one he looks like he slid all the way down the hill <laughs> this one dated the 7th but let's have a look at a bigger version shall we that's the bigger version I'm telling you he parked that thing sideways You can tell by the background, rain, and they're going to make this safe and secure by the 1st of November. No, I don't know. Sing me a song. Let's go back. And again. We've seen that. We've seen that. And I don't want to see that. Or that. Um, so I'll go off and see if I can find something new. Something to add to this. Okay. Oh, look, people, I find this amazing. I actually um, called one of these guys out when I was wanting to put a well down in a property that I owned, not rural, but suburban, and we wanted to put the bore down. I believe in them 100%. I think certain people have certain powers for, for whatever reason. Um, I personally could not do it, but then have I tried... Uh, as in to concentrate and whatever. I must try it one day. Just out of curiosity. You always got to try everything once. But, um, yeah, he apparently, George Delagana, watches his two metal wands crisscross as he locates an underground stream on a North County range. Delagana is a water dowser, for those that don't know, a water witch. A man who, according to many, can feel unseen water pull at him through any piece of scrap metal he might hold in his hands. Isn't that amazing? Well drilling firms generally don't call Delagana until their customers ask for a water dowser, but when that request comes, it and it has hundreds of times over the past 30 years, Delagana is the uh, preferred subcontractor. He's got an ability that's beyond the scientific method of finding water. Um, well drilling firm, San Miguel well drilling firm that calls out Delagana from time to time. I've seen him go into the areas where you'd never expect to find water and he's found it, Albot said. I'm impressed by him. Some say it's electricity, some say it's magnetic, Delgana said. I just don't know. Delgana was born January 14, 1910. In Cayucos, Cayucos, he has worked as a rancher in the North County all his life, except for nine years he spent in the army. Delgana unsuccessfully tried water dousing a few times before it started working for him one day about 30 years ago. That day, Delgana dropped by a feed store in 
a Tescadero and saw a friend toying with a dowsing rod. Delgana said he has found water for more than 5,000 wells in Florida to Hawaii, most of them in San Luis Obispo County. His success rate, he said, is 95 to 98%. It would be more than that if the drillers do what I tell them to do, such as bailing mud from the holes they drill, he said. Delagana owns three dousing rods he made them 30 years ago. One is a three-foot section of pencil-thick wire that Delagana twisted into a V-shape with looped handles. It was originally a power pole guy wire. Delagana uses the other two dousing rods in unison. These are twin 30-inch long welding rods. He didn't change their shape. They are perfectly straight except for a 90-degree bend at the very end of each rod. As soon as I start concentrating, they'll start moving. Delagana said recently while giving a dousing demonstration on his ranch five miles west of Paso Rob Robles. Robles. Delagana was using the two straight dousing rods. He held them at waist level, one in each hand like a gunfighter. He slowly walked about eight feet and then the rods swung towards each other and crossed. This is the centre of the stream, he said, digging his heel into the dirt. Then Delgana decided to see how far underground the water was. He stood still and continued to hold the rods at waist level. For the next few minutes, the rods mainly stayed still, but swung toward each other and crossed about eight times. Delgana explained that he was mentally guessing at how far down the stream was, and the rods were telling him whether he was guessing right or not. The rods said yes by crossing each other. They said no by staying still. Sounds silly as hell, Delgana said, but it works. People who use more scientific methods of finding water are careful to neither endorse nor completely condemn dousing. I don't have any confidence in the method, said Timothy S. Cleath, a certified engineering geologist who subcontracts at San Luis uh, Bispo city government to find the city new water sources. Well, of course you wouldn't because this guy's taken away your friggin' business. I do not espouse or recommend it to anybody, Cleve said, but that's not to say that the dousing rod doesn't move. I recognise it moves. I recognise there may be some physical cause for the rods to do what they do. The problem I have, Cleve said, is dousers don't know how to interpret it. If there is a right way, well, I really can't see that there's an issue. There either is water or there isn't water. How the hell are you supposed to interpret anything more than that? The guy's not saying that he can test it and tell you how many chemicals are in it. But anyway, like I said, this is just a competition thing. It's taken business away from him. Paul Wiley, owner of Templeton's H&W Horizontal well drilling said Delgana is successful on only about 50% of his dousing efforts. But Doug Filippino, Filipponi, sorry, co owner of Filipponi and Thomas Drilling Company of Atascadero said Delgana's success rate is more like about 80%. Filipponi said he often calls on Delgana when the firm's customers request a dowser. He said he figures he has gone to Delagana about a hundred times. I reckon that this kind of stuff is just, like I said, some people just have the knack. They just have the knack to do certain things. They were born with it. It's just a matter of them finding out what it is. Um, and I think that that is the fear of all of these companies, is that people are going to revert back to trusting in themselves and being able to do things for themselves. But anyway, that experience made Kirkland a believer. Uh, you can see the dousing rod pulling on his hands, Kirkland said. A lot of people wouldn't believe this, but I know it to be a fact. Uh, Profumo Canyon dowser John Silvier, 77, agreed it's hard for the average person to believe that water witching works. There's a lot of things that are hard to believe unless you do it yourself, said uh, Silviera, Silviera, who has been dousing for 55 years. You know, people, I reckon there is nothing better. And as we grow up, we kind of forget that you need to go back to the oldies, you know. 
they've got it all down pat you need to go back to them to the basics talk to them about the basics what they used to do to either do shit find shit whatever they're the ones that know don't go to, to friggin google or wherever and somebody's going to charge you a thousand dollars for something that you can get for 20 bucks that's the biggest problem here is that all of these big ass so-called fashionable companies are pissed at people doing this because it's taking away their money their money it's taking away their business i believe in all of this stuff like i said i actually saw one at work and um yeah so i'm convinced that that it is real but each to their own i just thought it'd be an interesting story